According to the dictionary, a trailblazer is defined as someone who is a pioneer or innovator. Basically, you are going down a path no one has ever gone down before and opening up doors for those who follow in your tracks. When the XFL season started in February, Kenny Robinson was a trailblazer that the sports world watched closely. Although the XFL story seems to have come to a close, Kenny Robinson's junior story seems far from over. So who is Kenny Robinson? Kenneth Robinson Jr. was born on January 8, 1999 in Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania. Robinson was one of seven children, meaning hard work was crucial. Robinson started his high school football career at University Prep, a small school in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. During Robinson's junior year, he would injure his leg, ending his season after two games. Robinson decided to transfer to Amani Christians Academy, a private school in Pittsburgh, for his senior season. While at Amani Christians Academy, Robinson played defensive back, quarterback, and wide receiver. Robinson was voted to the Pennsylvania All-State 1A first team as a defensive back. Robinson was also voted to the WPIALA All-Conference team as a free safety and the second team as a quarterback. Robinson won the WPIALA Defensive Player of the Year award. Robinson rushed for 1,250 yards, passed for 2,150 yards, and 18 touchdowns with three interceptions. In one game, Robinson even threw for 448 yards, the seventh most passing yards in a game in WPIAL history. Robinson was voted to the Pennsylvania Elite 11, which means he was one of the best 11 players in the state of Pennsylvania. Coming out of high school, Robinson was rated as a three-star athlete. According to 24-7 Sports, the 60th best athlete in the country, 12th best player in Pennsylvania, and 803rd ranked prospect nationally. Other athletes in Robinson's class included LSU's Patrick Queen and Boston College's A.J. Dillon, both in this year's NFL Draft. Robinson had offers from West Virginia, Iowa State, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, and Temple. Robinson decided to commit to West Virginia where he would become a playmaker right away. During Robinson's freshman year, West Virginia went 7-6 with a 5-4 record in Big 12 play. West Virginia ended their season with a loss to Utah in the Heart of Dallas Bowl, 30-14. Kenny Robinson Jr. played in all 13 games, starting 8 of them at cornerback, which he had never played before, as well as safety. Robinson had 46 tackles, 32 of which were solo tackles. This resulted in Robinson finishing 6th on the team. Robinson also had 3 interceptions, which was tied for first on the team, and three pass breakups. Two of the three interceptions were returned for touchdowns, one being a 94-yard return. Robinson was voted as All Big 12 Conference Honorable Mention. During Robinson's sophomore season, West Virginia went 8-4, going 6-3 in conference. The season ended with the loss to Syracuse in the Camping World Bowl. Robinson started all 12 games at safety. He finished with 52 solo tackles and 77 total tackles, averaging 6.6 .6 tackles per game and finishing second on the team in tackles. Robinson finished the season with four interceptions, which was the second most in the Big 12. He also had four pass breakups, finishing third on the team. Robinson had a big game against 15th ranked Texas, finishing with 10 total tackles and a win. Robinson would finish his sophomore campaign being named all Big 12 first team. Robinson seemed ready to explode in his third season until tragedy struck. In November of 2018, Robinson's brothers and sister informed him that his mother had a stroke. Robinson rushed home because his mother meant everything to him. Robinson wrote in his letter to GMs in the Player Tribune, I may have my dad's name, Kenneth, I may have his work ethic, his pride, his definition of what it means to be a man, but I have my mother's heart. Robinson's mother would be fine and Robinson returned to West Virginia. In February of 2019, Robinson went home again before spring practice started. As he turned onto his mother's street, he would be blinded by flashing lights. Robinson pulled into the driveway behind his brother, who had just gotten there a few minutes before him. Robinson's brother told him when he had arrived, their mother couldn't speak or move, so he called 911. Robinson's mother had another stroke and was rushed to the hospital where the doctors would run a bunch of tests on her. She told her son she was fine and he should go back to school. Robinson told his mother to call him with any updates and return to West Virginia. A week later, Robinson's mother called him and informed him she was diagnosed with colon cancer. This crushed Robinson. His mother had been out of work since her first stroke and the medical bills were piling up. So Robinson decided that 2019 was going to be his year and he was going to get drafted in the 2020 NFL Draft to help his family. 
This next part comes from Robinson's letter in the Players' Tribune from earlier this week and is Robinson's side of the story. Robinson was taking all his classes online and had to return to Pittsburgh for a close neighborhood friend's funeral. Robinson did not feel like doing an assignment while he was home and asked a friend to do it for him. She did and turned it in when Robinson was supposed to be in a coach's meeting. This caused the university to flag the assignment and when Robinson returned to campus, he was informed there was going to be a formal investigation. Robinson was not that worried because he had a clean academic record and had no off-field issues. The university thought differently and decided to expel him. Robinson's comment on the situation is a very mature one. And he said, I have no problem admitting it. I cheated. I got caught. I made a stupid decision and I don't have any excuses. I had the opportunity to do the right thing and I chose to do the wrong thing. That's it. I own that. In less than six months, Robinson's world had come crashing down. His mother had had two strokes and was diagnosed with colon cancer, his family's financial problems were only increasing, and now he was kicked out of school, which at the time seemed like his 2020 draft hopes were gone. Robinson never put his head down and he kept working because his family needed him. He was dealing with all of this while still being 20 years old. Robinson originally entered the transfer portal where he had offers from schools like Pittsburgh and Florida. The issue was, according to NCAA rules, to earn a scholarship immediately, you must be in good academic standing, and because of his expulsion, Robinson was not. If Robinson wanted to stay at the Division I level, he would have to walk on at a school and sit out a year. Robinson could have gone down to the Division II level, but that would have crushed his draft stock. So what was Robinson supposed to do? Enter the XFL. The XFL came in and told Robinson they would pay for him to play football and pay for him to finish college. So, Robinson would be able to help his family out financially as well as put more plays on film, which could help out his draft stock. Robinson decided he was going to bet on himself and signed with the XFL. Originally, his mother was not happy with him because she wanted him to finish school. Robinson promised her he would earn his degree and finish it at some point, and she backed her son. Robinson was drafted in the fifth round of the inaugural XFL Players Draft by the St. Louis Battlehawks 39th overall. Robinson worked harder than he had ever done before. He was training with former NFL veterans on his team and memorizing a much more complicated playbook compared to college. Robinson was on a mission. Instead of going out for his 21st birthday, he stayed in and studied. Nothing was going to stop him. Robinson started all five of St. Louis's games at free safety. He recorded 21 tackles, two interceptions, and a sack. In week five, Robinson was nominated for the XFL Star of the Week with one interception and a sack. Then, the rest of the XFL season would be canceled abruptly due to COVID-19, but all Robinson cared about was the fact that he got to help his family out financially. Robinson's draft projections are all over the board, and it depends on who you talk to. Some have Robinson as a first round pick, while others have him as an undrafted free agent. Robinson does have the benefit of playing in a more complicated coverage than in college and played in a faster game more like the NFL through the XFL. Robinson is one of the most physically prepared players in the draft, and because of everything Robinson had to deal with in 2019, he is also the most mentally prepared player. Robinson does not know if the XFL will be able to follow through on their promise to pay for college, but Robinson does not care because the XFL gave him an opportunity to play football again. I don't know where Robinson will go in the draft, but all I know is he is going to be an amazing player in the NFL after everything he has dealt with. I predict in five years from now, he will be an all-pro player.